against. As they say in hockey, let's do that hockey. Puck is down, and it's won by Brown to start. This time, Stockfish. Outside, they bring it out in front. Stockfish with a shot. Big pad save by Pasechnik. Uh, once again, won by the Bears. Shot sent in, a chance in front, they score. I'm not sure if it was tipped, but I believe it was Hancock who sent the pass in and leading the line for the Bears is Maya Mangiafico. Mangiafico's third point of the year, second goal of the year. Face Saved off. by Klitschko, Markowski had the overtime game winner in the game against Harvard. Now Hanson, a rip, it's tipped in front. They score, Kirsten McQuig. And we have a tie game with 4.13 to go in the first. Shot sent in by Olivia Hanson from the left point. And McQuig gets her first goal of the season. Yeah, McQuig, beautiful tip in front from a shot from the point and just deflected a right past Klitschko. Nothing that Klitschko could have done there. That was just a beautiful redirection. So just a few minutes after the first goal from Brown. A comeback goal from the Knights, and we have a tie game. First period, both came up unsuccessful. The, Goss the Knights will possess first. Win at the blue line. Left for Gosling. Back right side, Lonergan. Gosling with a shot, she scores! Nicole Gosling on the power play, and she gives the Knights the lead with 14.05 to go in the second on the Knights' 20th shot. It's Gosling from Lonergan, a power play goal. A beautiful power play goal, 16 seconds into the power play, and just great passing by the Knights right up towards the point. Again, that cycle between Lonergan, Wynn, and Gosling. Lonergan sent the shot off a of body. Deflection came back to Gosling. She sent it short side and got her power play goal tonight. Back check by Stockfish. Here comes Maloney with speed, gets past McQuig. Maloney tries to make a move and a great stick by Pasechnik. As Maloney on him does a good job to win that back. Now David here on the right side, drops off for Lonergan, back up top win. Left side, Gosling with time set in front, tip, and a chance for Goodwin, another second chance, it's loose in front, they score! I couldn't tell who it was. I, David was one of the ones in front, as well as Goodwin. We'll see who leads the line down. It's gonna be Jenna Goodwin. So Goodwin with her fifth goal of the season, and it gives the Knights a 3-1 lead. Chaos in front of the net, as the puck was loose, a few shots. Off and Goodwin is able to finish it there along the left side. Beats yeah, Klitschko. Tough Far. rebound to give up. Hanson right side for Win. Win with time looks for a pass. She'll circle around the goal now. Decides to take a shot herself. It's loose in front. They score. Lawrence Frenette. It's the fourth of the night. Haley Win with the setup. And a beauty from Frenetta, she just tips it in. The puck was loose in the crease. Win started along the right boards with time circled right to left around the net instead of taking the wrap around, sent it through the crease. And Frenette was there to tap it in for the night's fourth of the night. Yeah, great puck control by freshman Haley Win Finds her freshman class partner, Lawrence Frenette, on the back side. And Lawrence Frenette, all she has to do is tap it in and the Knights get their fourth. Looks like Tchaikovsky is going to take the draw here. And it's one down by the Golden Knights. Sends a pass right side. Intended for Helgeson. It's intercepted. Here come the Bears. Backside pass. A shot. What a save made by Pasechnik. A second chance effort. And another save by Pasechnik. Tried to find got it, but lost briefly to Forrest. Now back on it is Schuler. Here's Gosling with a wrister in front. Lassard has a chance in front. And a goal from Schuler. The puck was loose in front of Klitschko for quite a time, and Schuler comes in and buries it home. Beats Klitschko on the right side with 4:21 remaining in the third. So the fifth goal of the night for the Golden Knights. 
and a great presence of mind from both Florence Lassard and Christina Schuler right in front of net, just trying to poke that puck past Klitschko, and they do successfully. Christina Schuler now with her third goal of the year. Five seconds to go as Hansen on the puck looks up ice. She'll send one as it's intercepted. And the buzzer sounds. That will do it for tonight's contest. The Golden Knights are victorious 5-1 to one over the Brown Bears again. Clarkson now advances to 12-1-2 and two on the season. Seven straight victories. Brown 1-7-2 and two after the loss tonight. So Jake, we're here with Coach DeRozier. Coach, great win tonight. What do you think was one of the keys that propelled you and your team to victory? Uh, to be honest with you, I think we got better as the game went on. You know, like I wasn't really happy with the first period, the way we played, but uh, we kind of settled in in that third period. We started getting our feet moving a little bit there, a little bit more, and uh, really didn't give them too many opportunities in the uh, defensive zone. Yeah, so as you mentioned, you guys went into the first intermission tied. What do you think was the mentality shift that got you guys to score another four goals before the game ended? Yeah, no, we just talked about getting back to playing our game. First period, we weren't, uh, you know, they were out competing us. Um, you know, we were a little soft on things, a little sloppy with our play. So it's just a matter of just getting back to the basics, playing our game, and just kind of upping our compete level. Yeah, and uh, multiple goal scorers again tonight. You guys have a great offense. What do you credit that to? Yeah, I'm just really happy with the depth we have on this team right now. Like you said, we're getting contributions from a lot of players, and it's not just you know one line or one player that's doing the damage for us. Uh, uh, you know, we're getting it throughout the whole entire lineup, and we're going to need that down the stretch for sure. Yeah, and looking to tomorrow night, you guys are facing the Yale Bulldogs, and they've been really competitive as of late, shutting out both Cornell and Colgate. What are you guys looking to do to them tomorrow night? Yeah, it's going to be a good game tomorrow night. We're definitely going to have to show up right from the drop of the puck. You know, they're pretty, uh, they're showing that they're a pretty dynamic team. They're scoring a lot of goals, and obviously they're keeping them out of their net too. So uh, we're going to have our hands full tomorrow for sure. So we're going to have to get some good rest tonight and uh, come prepared for tomorrow. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Congrats, and we'll see you tomorrow. All right, thank you. Thank you. So we're back here with Haley Wynn. Haley, two assists tonight and a great victory. Uh, walk me through that last play with uh, Lawrence Frenette. That was a great goal. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I just was looking for the shot in the shooting lane, and it wasn't there, so I just held on to it, went around the net, and Lowe was pretty open back door, and she had a nice tap in, so it's a good roommate connection. And again, you guys, five goals again tonight. That's your third uh, five-goal game in the last three games. What do you think is the key to the offense to keep moving forward? Yeah, I think we're playing really well, playing with speed, just getting pucks in and attacking. Our four check's really good right now. So just maintaining puck possession, and our forwards are doing a really good job of staying high, getting that front presence, and obviously contributing to win some goals. Awesome. And tomorrow night, again, you guys play Yale. Uh, is there anything you're looking forward to from that game? Because they're a very tough opponent. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely been rolling, so we're pretty excited to play them. We know it's not going to be easy, so just going to trust in our systems, trust our teammates, and excited for the game. Awesome, Haley. Thank you. Congrats. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Casey, back to you.